Hi, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limco. Welcome. I'm really thrilled to show you a new library for Omnisphere 2 called Northern Impact. It's ambient film underscore. There's oh, 331 samples that were processed with really cool, unique processing. It's not just a straight ahead sound effect or straight ahead cinematic library. It's a really cool hybrid mix of the two. Uh, combined, there's over 600 presets, 331 samples, including my dog barking and growling, ice breaking, streams, drawers being opened and closed with some really cool processing. I'm going to show you a little bit about that uh, as we go. Now, that demo you just heard is a demo I wrote. 95% of that is sounds from uh, Northern Impact. There was a string part and there was a drum part that was added to the drums of this library. This library has quite a few different things in the drum category, so I'm gonna show you. This is the patch walkthrough. There's another video you're welcome to watch that's supporting this library that's about the demos, and it will give you some insight into how I use the library, the sounds that were used, what they did, um, and what makes this library truly unique in all the other libraries that have been created and released by me so far at my website, PluginGuru.com. By the way, real quickly, if you do need inspiring sounds, please come to my website, PluginGuru.com. If you find it on eBay or something like that, that's illegal. You're, it's, please don't do that. Just come here. I have libraries for all sorts of plugins. I'm very proud of the work. And uh, once you have a library, you're hopefully hooked. <laughs> That's the plan. I messed up plan. All right. B before we get into the big walkthrough, let me give you just an overview of the library. And in, in that demo at the very end, you heard a really lovely pad. This is World Destroyer. And I called it that because of the power on the mod wheel. All this emotion, like the world's, everything's falling apart, you know? Okay, so pads like you've never heard before. There's textures. Again on the mod wheel. Scoring to picture, you need the mod wheel to be able to take and give you emotional content. So the mod wheel on most all these patches, um, the keyboard in the new version of Logic doesn't show when I'm playing notes. I think it's a small bug they'll fix, but uh, so I can't, ha I was going to have a keyboard up for you seeing what notes I play like I usually do, but it's just a keyboard, it doesn't show my notes. So it'd be like, hey, I don't see any notes being pressed. So it's not here, but you do see the mod wheel on the screen when I move the mod wheel the graphic will show you that what's going on, okay? Uh, drums, like I said, there's tons of drums. We're gonna play through these in a in just a bit. We're gonna do a whole patch walkthrough, but look at all the drums, BPM drums. There's tons and tons. <laughs> so this is just one example. And the mod wheel. Total transformation. Because this is what you need for all the underscore, for trailers, for emotional, mo even in pop music, you need stuff like this to happen. <laughs> pop music with cinematic moments, right? But because it's synthesis based and it's not drum samples just going, blah, 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 you know, there's this all this interactivity that's awesome. Okay. Um, this is a symbol. At least it sounds like a symbol, right? Hmm, this is part four. So let's look at part four of this multi. This is just a demo multi I made. It's not in the library. Well, let's look at this patch. What if I turn the effects off? I wonder if it was a ride symbol or a gong of some sort. You know, it's kind of got that kind of quality to it. Let's see, what was it? <laughs> Tricked you. I knew this ahead of time. Yes, I did.
Yes. There's a, an effect in atmosphere called inner space, which is being used. Turn this into like a really cool symbol esque kind of thing. And the way it works with samples, if you transpose the samples down in pitch, they get darker. If the samples go up in pitch, they get right, brighter. <laughs> Very good. You guys are so smart. Love it. Love it. You guys are learning so much. I love it. So I tech this and I set the pitch pins so that it's up and down two octaves. So when you're playing a note, and then you go down in pitch. It gets really dark. And when you take the pitch pin and you go way up. So again, to picture to the moment in the song where you needed to go. You can do it. It's there for you to play with and do that. Uh, hits. Lots of hits. And again. Super deep synthesis programming. Uh, we have some BPM texture stuff like. If you're trying to do the new Blade Runner. 4,000, what would be 5,096, whatever. <laughs> you do that. Here's a scary. Uh, even basses that have really unique cinematic character to them. I'm going to give you a whole run through of all, uh, not every patch, because that would take all day. But before we get there, I want to share two things. Number one, this library was made using 14 different programming individual persons from around the world. And a really cool thing has happened. When I did the cello library, I put out a demo of 10 patches and people could buy that for $2 and play with the patches and send them to me. And a whole bunch of patches from that got put into the Mega Magic Cello library. Really a cool experience. And a lot of people kind of started connecting and communicating between that. And I do these live streams every Saturday on YouTube. So people are really starting to talk to each other. And this one individual, Bernie, he got a hold of all the other people in the European continents and started a little network and let me know that he'd started this network and said, if you want to use us for anything, we're available. So I now have this thing called the European Sound Collective that is available as a resource. And so I sent this to them uh, when it was samples were done and all the processing was done and they worked on the patch. They made patches and they did a really great job of exploring this in different directions than my normal guys. So Airwave and Exosun, Kid Anthem, uh, they were involved. Tim Dale was involved, as well as these other people. That is just so cool. So 14 people made patches. So the, the perspective on these samples is worldwide. And it's really cool. Just honored to be able to do that and bring it to you guys. The second thing I want to share is about the samples themselves. If we go here, these are the original samples with processing there's chords and with these what's fun is you can move the sample start hold down shift so it goes back But the original sample was a drawer being shut or open. I'm not sure what it was. There's drive-bys, ice cracks. These are hits. And they get crazy in the sound. How did we get these sounds from just dry samples of ice and stuff, right? I'm going to show you. So there's hits, tons of hits, special effects. 
This is Athena. Balloon squeaks. But they're not just dry samples. How did we get these effects? How did that become from a toaster sample? Right? I'm gonna show you. There is a plugin called Wormhole that came out from Zymnaptic. Let's talk about this for a minute. Check this out. It can do some amazing things. Let's take my voice. I, I am speaking in a clear tone so that you can hear the effects right? of adding really complex audio processing. Now let's turn it on. Through the synaptic wormhole effect to the voice. And then imagine this being processed onto sound effect samples instead of this. And you get an idea of what insanity was done to create. The Melvin Impact Lego. I am speaking in a clear term. Some crazy ability effects of adding really complex audio processing. Go all the way to garbled. To the synaptic wormhole. Bad effect. connections. To the void. And then imagine. This being processed on two sound effects samples instead of my voice. So it can get way out there, but it can also do some other stuff. I have some examples here. Um, this is a guitar playing, right? Let's all hold hands, light the campfire, all that stuff. Let's make it even better. Let's turn on the wormhole. Really wide with reverb, with this shifting stuff happening, but it doesn't lose the... It can very easily, believe me. But if you need other, from this to this. So we use this, we use convolution reverbs in unique ways uh, to create really cool pads and things like that. A lot of really creative stuff was used to turn what would normally be normal into something otherworldly. And then we used that to program and make the patches. So a lot of work went into making this not just a sound effect library or just a cinematic pad library per se, but to be this really cool interactive mix of all sorts of stuff. So that gives you an idea of what we did to make the sounds. I want to show one more thing that's kind of cool. This is. Uh, Jason sent this to me. This is in the owner's manual. This is some of the places that he went to with his uh, uh, Zoom field recorder, recording ambiences, which were turned into the sounds in this library in some cases. So it's really cool what we have. He started this and showed this to me last end of last year and said, I'm working on this. What do you think? And I was like, cool, let me add some stuff to it. And he processed everything himself. So the processing is from Jason's crazy mind. Jason, by the way, also has another library called Northern Lights, which is beautiful pads and stuff using the samples inside of Omnisphere. That's kind of a library that came up before we kind of got carried away with adding our own samples and trying to do things that were new in sonic territory as well as sample territory. So those are both libraries that he has created that are really great. So let's do this. Let's do a walkthrough now of the patches, okay? So bass, of course you gotta have basses and with these sound effect sounds, there's really cool basses. Just using samples from this library, if we turn off the effects, <laughs> it's quite different than, and then the mod wheel, I found a way to turn this into, um, Pick bass. So this originally was created by Jason. And I did some additional processing at the end to get it. <laughs> All right.
right. Hammer wave. And this is one of those where the mod will let you do all sorts of post stuff so you can... The idea being put this behind brass, put it behind the big bass tone of a score and then have... All this cool motion because of the way the limiter is happening into the filtering, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the mega battle call. <laughs> They're here. What's fun with this, you can take this. Just makes it super cool, huge. You got all that kind of stuff to play with. Uh, Subtronics. Somebody's coming for you. Cool stuff. Uh, here's some BPM ARP stuff of bases. the effects so again deep programming we don't just sit around and like put a filter on it and call it a patch this has a really subtle thing happening there's just a little bit of LFO happening to the filtering as you bring the module it gets dark just watch the hunger games last night and this this would work Uh, airwave. Just crazy. And uh, any of these that say BPM, for the most part, turn off the ARP. And you have a bass you can just play. Uh, it's alive. Cool sci-fi kind of thing. That's Exosuns. This one, the mod wheel goes up. There's this ringing that happens because of the settings on the effects. The feedback on the flangers, I think. Let's take a look real quick. Yeah. Phaser. I set up the phaser and then the mod wheel just brings up the... The feedback's high enough you hear it, but if you bring it up higher, it starts to ring. So, it's a cool effect. Uh, no more heroes. This is another one where there's a lot of feedback and stuff you can play with. Because of the way that Omnisphere has a bus effect, we can feed stuff into that that like echoes forever and ever and ever. So I can go, uh, and that still is ringing out while I play new notes because I brought the module back down, right? So stuff like that. There's chords. Like the opening, like, like a logo for a film company. Opening of the door. It's one of those evolving chill kind of things. The resonance coming down. And distortion. This is all a 
about the resonance just hitting the right frequencies. Okay, drums. All sorts of drums. Okay, big drums. Sub drums. And then Airwave took this to a whole different place. All sorts of places. Uh, these are some other Airwave fun things. on forever which is really cool to play with us so it's grubs like that so there's grooves like that there's impacts there's busy percolation things There's ready set actions that Airwave made that are cool. There's like six of these, so. Uh, distort your head off with ready slay. Jason made all these really cool tiki tacky. Shake Shifter is really awesome. I've used this in one of the demos. That mod wheel action is just really cool to like have it be pulsing and then it's all of a sudden a noise. Uh, the two towers, I was watching, guess what? Yep. <laughs> uh, tricky Hobbitses. So there's all sorts of stuff like that. These BPM falls are really cool. They're tempo locked to be, if it says eight, that means there's eight quarter notes being used. So. If it's 16, that would be four measures. Um, if you get down here to the rises and the sweeps, we go all the way up to 32 quarter notes, which would be um, eight measures if you were doing four, four timing. These will follow tempo changes. So if you're speeding up over eight measures, they will still stay in sync, which is really awesome. But there's like really short sweeps. And the idea behind this, let me point this out. There's only a couple. One is pitched. And the other is an effect. But here you can hit and you can see all the samples. There's 331. So there's 331 patches. Oh wait, we gotta be over here and just say the in Northern Impact. And and if you had a groove going, there's a cool kind of like noise type of thing. All sorts of places to go. So every one of these that you see is a template so that this is set up. But go down here and just change for 331 variations of each one of these. So that's really kind of cool. Now sweeps means it's a sweep in a volume. The rises mean that it's going to actually rise. Pitchy G's. But even on these sweeps, if you hit the little magnifying glass right here, you'll notice there's a mod envelope that's assigned to the pitch that's muted, unmuted. And now mod envelope one. And if you want it to be the opposite, just take the end and the beginning and reverse them. And if you want to make it longer,
There you go. That's how you make the traditional. You need this type of a shape so it's like slowly going along. And then right in this last part, it goes up most of the range. That's an exponential, negative exponential envelope. And if you have it set to sync and you hit snap, you can just click this and move it around to it hits right there. And it's perfectly snapped now to four. Okay. And that's the same with the amp. It's set up to be, if you zoom in, you can see it's also set right there. So, uh, oh, I want to show you also the falls because these are really cool. Um, this one descending down. Play high notes. It's really, really cool. I use that in the demo when it's the drums take off and there's this big falling effect that's used. Uh, Industria. And you hear kind of a unique pitch EG. That's because there's a little fast part before it starts to do the slow fall. Turn off snaps. You can do all sorts of things. Click this, let's make this a four pulse. Uh, you're the, just be creative. There's all sorts of ways to use these patches. These are just setting up, setting the scene, and then you can take it from there. Uh, BPM plucks. Nice and useful. And again, if you want, you can turn off the ARP and you just have a... You play soft, harder, pitch comes out. That's really cool. Uh, here's Fridge Aurora. So, again, deep programming. We don't mess around. Uh, synths. Nice. Nice. Good. That's so useful for so many moments in film. out longer just go to link or shorter here's your filter so much fun to play with uh, uh, I don't even know how to say that name Okay, so BPM, this is really fun, I love this one. There's something hiding on the mod wheel. Drums. <laughs> Ready for those Spartacus moments. Uh, Dark Aurora Rises. This is one of those where the mod wheel needs to be used. So explore the mod wheel and everything. Uh, outpost number five. Filtering on effects is so fun. Okay. Uh, Reanimator. Bring it back to life. Corn. 
chords. See, I showed you that drawer sample that had the with the chord. Pass that to get past the beginning, and, and you have a cool. If I link this and I go to the sample start, make it the beginning. But instead, I, I found the place where both of them. Okay. Uh, dissonant, ignorant tension. All sorts of chords. Again, the mod wheel is instrumental. Without it, you have the stream. If you want to have the chord go away, so you just had this effect, just go here to amp, modulate with wheel, invert it, make it all the way 100%. So when the mod wheel is up, it's just string. Let me bring the mod wheel down. Perfect way to start a chill. Stuff like that. I like that. Let's save that. The library is not done. It comes out tomorrow. So save that patch quickly. Yes. There. You don't have to do the edit. I did it for you. Uh, so drums. These are just... Big drums, radioactive. This is so cool. I love this one. Talk about the beginning of a film. It's using Big Boomer and Running Water, Siberia. Cool. Uh, Sub Killer. So drums like that. Hits. Just all over the place in the sound design world. Now if you want to get past that, move your start. And so you want that scrape. Now you don't have that big hit. But since it's called a hit, we'll keep it that way to start. Uh, shearing off. Okay, then we have some keys. And these are like alternate keys. You know, don't try to play Kenny Loggins' love song. Uh, mantle organ. Uh, this is lovely. Rhodesia. Okay, play like that stuff. More organy. Great for hit elements. Uh, pads. Tons of pads, my goodness. Really cool, like, wow. Where's that from?
times of need. Beautiful cinemesque. Our primordial life. Just as you expect. Stream of consciousness is going to have that cool stream, but as a pad you can play. It's amazing. So the pads go on and on. Demogorgon. If you're doing something strange, there you go. Whoops. <laughs> Has the opposite effect you'd expect, right? It's a pad for a minute, then it kind of falls apart. Uh, World Destroyer, I showed at the beginning. Plex. From intense to uh, his theme. So for EDM popular music today, there's stuff in here as well. Uh, special effects. Put that in an EDM track. Let's go. Uh, Balrogs. That's Athena. <laughs> Check this out. I did some things to the envelopes that are changing parameters in the sound to kind of match what Athena was saying. And to emphasize it as well. So. Fun stuff. <laughs> Quarter nine. Again, mod wheel. Big time. Now, how are we doing that? It's a cool trick. So we have granular, without granular, it's a hit. But with granular turned on, we're freezing it at a specific point. And then we have the mod wheel sweeping through it. If you want to change how intense it is, So that's how we're doing a lot of these. You'll hear some of these coming up here that have the mod wheel in them because uh, that's it's too fun. Distorted currents. Again, that symbol effect is really cool. Kind of an, a signature part of the library. Again, granular, so the mod wheel. So for scoring, you have all this control over what happens over time. So it's really fun to have that type of a library in your back pocket. Oceans let up when you want it to go out. Factorial strings. And there's an alternate to this. I'm going to show you something kind of cool. Upside down. The 
only thing I changed on the strings is this. Now we're back to normal strings. By bringing this down, it's a whole different vibe. So you have both a stringy that sounds like strings and then a pad that has that same sound, but it's been set up so it doesn't sound like strings. But it still is underneath. Um, there's really cool synthy. Blade Gunner 1 is more your normal. Blade Gunner 2 is a little bit more out there with the uh, effects. Okay. Uh, more synthy stuff. nice just floaty yeah this cool dancing effect thing it's not there when you have the audio down uh textures uh I was asked like in January, we'd love to have a texture library. Look at this. These are all texture patches. <laughs> so there is a ton to play with. I'm gonna go through just a handful of them because I mean, they're just so awesome. Very nicely sets the mood. Not a very good mood. <laughs> uh, end of the world. Yeah. Uh, escape through the tunnels. Let me in. Like a whispering spirit. <laughs> uh, living ground. I love living ground. This is really cool. These mod wheels are more the granular. It's peaceful this way. It's just insane to start. So if you're trying to create some sort of a mood, it's really nice to control it that way. There's five or six of these. Okay, there's sci-fi atmospheres. liquids they have a little bit of everything to play with uh, even a sleeping giant sleeping and snoring really loud 
okay? And then like I showed at the beginning, here's all the, just the hits and so forth out of the core library. These are what we built the other patches with. Okay. Then on top of this, there's multis and there's some really fun ones. So let's go. Automatic ignition. It's combining all these elements that I've been showing you as separate patches. Now they're combined. Uh, impact battle drums. It's going to be really cool, like rhythmic. Right? Uh, March of Garuda. Wow. <laughs> yeah, insane. So So here these are tempo sync falls with hits at the end in the multis. Uh, here's a rise. <laughs> uh, some cool key layered. Right? Uh, dragon. Yeah. All sorts of textures. Six hundred patches. <laughs> textures are textures are crazy effect things, right? So that's the library. That is Northern Impact Volume One. 600 plus patches, multis, 331 samples, all cool sound design, hybrid mix of effects and tonal stuff. And then programmed like crazy by a whole bunch of people from around the world. Really glad to bring it to you. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you watch the one on the demo songs. I think you might pick up some more tips and tricks in that one as well. So thank you for your support. See you later.